Hey guys, I'm starting off with an old lamp that I've had at home for a while and I've been tempted over and over to throw this lamp away. But I decided to just keep it to use the base for another lamp that I'll be making. I'll be removing the bulbs and all the extra parts that I won't be needing. Before I was able to bend this, I had to push the cord from the base. Now I'm using duct tape to hold them all together in place. I got two embroidery hoops. And four wooden dolls. I pre-drill holes in the dolls using my drill gun so that the dolls don't break. And then I started attaching the dolls to the hoops. Each hoop has two dolls. Now I'm going to be holding all of them together using zip ties. I used four zip ties to keep all the dolls in place. And then I'm going to be gluing all the wood together using wood glue. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree around the hoops. I put three blocks here and I'll be putting three more blocks at the back. Throughout this project, I'll be using half-inch screws To give me slight curves on my lamp, I got tile dividers from Home Depot And these tile dividers are strong and flexible I got 8 in total and then I cut all of them an inch longer than the height of the lamp that I'm going to use Since we have 8 in total, I'm going to be attaching them to the wood blocks and the dowels. After attaching all of them to one hoop, this is what it looks like. And now I attach them to the second hoop and then I have my curve. I took it out and spray painted it silver and kept it aside. My goal here is to make a shade, so I looked into paper lanterns and they're actually made with papers. Now, because I wanted mine to be decorative with the Moroccan theme, I'll be using doilies. And I got 10 inches doilies, 6 inches doilies, and 4 inches doilies. I'm starting off with the 4 inches doilies, and I'm attaching these doilies to the skeletal design using a hot glue gun.
The next set following this are the 6 inches doilies. For the 4th and 5th line, I'll be using 10 inches doilies. As I was doing this, I noticed that the 10 inches doilies were not as hard as the 6 inches and the 4 inches. So that affected the turnout after I spray painted it silver. So the parts that were really looking bad, like this part and some other two, I cover them up with beads. I did this for two more 10 inches doilies. Now before I forget, I left a space at the back to make it easy for me to carry the shade. Now every other doilies besides the one that has been covered up with the silver beads is going to have gems glued on to the edges. After I was done with this all around the shade, I kept it aside. I then got LED lighting that I know won't emit a lot of heat to use inside the shade. Now it has seven outlets, so I'm going to be holding them together in such a way that it will be easy for me to attach it to the main pole of the old lighting that I'll be using. So I'm basically just reducing the length and holding them all together with duct tape. I got the string lights that have 7 outlets, but I'll be using just 3 for now and then much later, if I like, I can add the other 4. This is what the stand for the old lighting looks like, and now I attached the LED string lights to the stand of the old lighting. And now I just lifted up the shade that I made and put it over the lighting. I'm not using a remote, but if you like, you can get that separately from the store. When the lights are on, because of the design, it kind of looks like a suspended lever lamp from the inside. This design has the look of a Moroccan floor lamp. I love how this turned out and this is a very interesting looking lighting. I like to show you guys all the DIY lightings that I've made. Now I'm so glad I kept the base for the old lighting. Because if I like, I can turn off the extra lighting that's there and just use the outlet that was on the old lamp. This is when there's no light at all, and this is when you have a lot of light. So it looks pretty in any lighting condition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share it with your friends and family. 
Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.